Good morning. Thanks for joining in. Today I am going to talk about a condition of the kidneys called glomerulonephritis. So what is glomerulonephritis? As I spoke in my previous video, there are many conditions in which our own immune system starts attacking our own body. And these, these conditions can affect any part of our body, from our skin, to our liver, to our lungs, to our kidneys, to our heart. So when our own immune system, which is a defense system that we have in our body, which is supposed to protect us, turns against us and starts damaging our kidney, that is called glomerulonephritis. So it is an autoimmune condition. Which part of the kidney does it affect or it damages? And that is the filter system of the kidney. As I explained in my first video on the kidney, so do watch it please in the season, the first uh, uh, video in season six, which tells you how the kidneys work. So kidneys are the filter system in our body, which gets rid of excessive water, excessive salts, unnecessary stuff in our body which our body does not need and which can damage our body it gets rid of it and the filters which do this in the kidney are called nephrons and i have explained this in my previous video so do please watch it in glomerulonephritis that filter system of our body gets damaged so why is glomerulonephritis important the first thing is it can affect any age from children to elderly it can affect any, any sex, so men and women both can be affected. It can range from very, very mild, but severe untreated glomerulonephritis can lead to kidney failure. So what does the patient complain of with glomerulonephritis? Surprisingly, many patients have no symptoms. It is only mild and it's incidentally picked up on a urine test. So when the patient goes to the doctor, does a urine sample, urine sample doctor checks and will find some blood and some protein into, in the urine. Normal urine does not contain any blood and does not contain any protein. It will suggest to your doctor that this patient has mild or early glomerulonephritis. In some patients who have got quite severe glomerulonephritis because they are passing so much proteins in their urine, their urine becomes very frothy. Some patients complain of skin rashes because again skin rashes are autoimmune. Joint pains can happen again, joint pains can be autoimmune. Swollen ankles because their proteins become low as they are passing too much protein in the urine. Their ankles swell up, their tummy can swell up, they can get puffy face because Proteins keep the fluid in our blood. When the proteins are low, all the fluid goes out of our blood into our tissues and all the tissues start getting swollen. Some patients also develop high blood pressure, which they did not have before. So what tests can be done to diagnose glomerulonephritis? As I said earlier, a simple urine test to check for blood and proteins in the urine, which can be done at a doctor's practice. Um, is a simplest test to do and diagnose glomerulonephritis. When this test becomes positive, doctors will also like to do a blood test to check for kidney functions and to check for proteins in the blood. Because many of these patients, as they are passing proteins in the urine, the protein in their blood goes down. Once glomerulonephritis is diagnosed by these simple tests, then doctors might want to do further tests in the hospital. Ultrasound scan, CT scan to look at the size of the kidney to see is there any cause for damage to the kidney like a stone in the kidney or some other cause of kidney problem. Many patients will also require a kidney biopsy. The kidney biopsy is done under local anesthetic with a small needle on the side of the tummy to take a small sample from the kidney. It's a reasonably safe test to do and it gives the doctors the answers what is causing damage to the kidney. So what causes glomerulonephritis? Many patients who have glomerulonephritis will have an underlying autoimmune condition. There are many of those, many types of vasculitis, SLE, hepatitis, which is infection of the liver, endocarditis, which is infection of the heart. Many patients also have a family history of 
glomerular nephritis. So more than one members of the family may be affected by glomerular nephritis. So it can run in the family, but that is not a very common um, reason of developing glomerular nephritis. So what is the treatment of glomerular nephritis? Very mild glomerular nephritis, which isn't causing much symptoms, very small loss of blood in the urine, and very small loss of proteins in the urine, not causing much problem to the patient. If there's an underlying problem like SLE or vasculitis, if that is controlled by medications, then the glomerular nephritis will also get better. Simple measures like dietary change, especially having low salt diet, stopping the smoking and alcohol, obviously weight loss will help. Blood pressure con control with tablets called ACE inhibitors, that will also help. If it does not improve or gets worse, immunosuppressant medications come in if these measures do not work. There are many different types of immunosuppressant like steroids, azathioprine, cyclophosphamide, cyclosporin, etc, etc, etc. The main purpose of these medications is to suppress our immunity. So our own blood cells which are attacking the kidneys or destroying the kidneys and, and other parts of our body like the joints or the skin or the heart or the liver, the, our immunity will get suppressed and that damage will stop. Last thing to discuss is what are the complications of glomerular nephritis. High blood pressure is very common with glomerular nephritis and tablets need to be taken to control the blood pressure otherwise it will cause damage to the brain, to the heart, etc. High cholesterol can happen with glomerular nephritis. Excessive blood clots. Patient can get clots in the legs and the lungs and even can get strokes because of glomerular nephritis. Patients can get kidney failure. Kidney failure can be very, very mild, not requiring much treatment other than dietary change or can be severe, so much so that the kidneys stop functioning completely and the patient will require either kidney transplant or kidney dialysis. The problem with glomerular nephritis is it's not always diagnosed early, so by the time it is diagnosed, it is, can be quite advanced and the patient might already be in some degree of renal failure. I hope to see you soon. Until next time, take care.